This is probably one of the cooler or creepier type stages that are available. And it just so happened we also got the scroll for this world already. Here we have another segment of dogfight, where we fly around in a tornado, trying to take out enemies. This is easily one of the toughest, if not the hardest, one of the segments throughout the whole game. There's a lot of really tough enemies, and the patterns are a little bit sporadic and can home in on you pretty easily. Including that enemy that we saw just a little bit ago, that gets close to you and then fires a huge spread shot. This enemy, with a force field going around it, is probably the hardest to deal with in the whole segment. That thing follows you very quickly around the screen, and your momentum can sometimes cause you not to be able to turn quick enough or go down fast enough to avoid running into it. Here we have another one of the large towers. On this one, we have to take out both the eyes and the nose in order to get done the segment. At this point, we've pretty much seen everything that the poison field has to offer, just trying to go around avoiding the enemies as best as we can, collecting the different types of ghosts, bringing down that counter so that we can move on. Just once again be very careful of that statue-like enemy in the background. They don't move, but you can accidentally sometimes land on them while jumping around, and you can't defeat them. The boss for this level is going to be this boss that has a shield surrounding it. We fought another version of it earlier on in the game, and I'm going to use the unicorn to my advantage to try to block some of its shots as I jump up using my weapon to try to get in there. Use whatever projectile weapon you like best that can actually penetrate through the force field and try to do as much damage while you have the unicorn out. Here we have another version of the very first map of the game. Even though it is a map we've seen a few times throughout the gameplay, it doesn't mean it's going to be the same, as the types of levels that are placed throughout are different every time. You can also see we have a few different types of enemies, including walking flames, as well as this weird ghost-like enemy that dances around and actually sings at you for its projectile. The monster tower segments like this one do not change throughout the game. Once you've seen them once, they're pretty much the exact same difficulty as all the other times you've been here. So once you've done it a couple times, you shouldn't have any problem repeating the different tower segments. I'm also trying to do my best to go through the least amount of the segments as I can, just to get to the boss level in order to get through and get to the next level. Unfortunately, going through the segments I have so far, they didn't drop one of the scroll items that I need in order to enter the boss battle for this map. I now have to backtrack to one of the two segments that I didn't already complete in order to hopefully find the scroll so I can go into the boss battle. Thankfully, in this poison field segment, I'm able to grab the scroll, so now I just have to complete it, and then I can go back across the map and enter the boss battle.
time for another boss battle, and this time, once again, I'll be using the unicorn to help me out. Watch out for the projectiles that this monster throws out. The unicorn will block most of them, especially when it gets closer to your side of the screen. Just stay behind the unicorn as long as possible, and once you drain his health once, he will get a second bar of health as his form changes and he starts moving around a little bit faster. Just stay out of the reach of his projectiles, and once the unicorn goes away, try to go to the complete opposite side of the screen to avoid accidentally being landed on and having a better chance of dodging those projectiles. This is the last map that we will be completing during this run of the game, as this is also the final boss battle that's new. After this map, all the boss battles will start repeating from the very first one that we took care of. Here we have another one of the dogfight segments, and we're going to try to do our best to once again take out the enemies that we need to while trying to dodge some of the really tough projectile throwing enemies. Once again, the worst enemies to deal with on this map are definitely the one with the scrolling shields around it. Just try to do your absolute best to stay ahead of them, moving quickly along the screen and using your momentum to your advantage, and try to get a shot in there between his shields so you can finally hit him. It's now time to head to our final boss battle for the game. At the beginning of the boss battle, just walk a little bit to the left, and then start firing your projectiles at the slowly moving creature. You won't even need one of your animal friends to help you out here. The only thing you really gotta watch out for is once you kill him and drain all his health, he breaks apart as four heads will go flying across the screen, one of which will come directly at you. Just jump that, and you've completed the boss battle. Now, once again, the game will keep looping, giving you more and more randomly generated maps, but the boss battles will be repeating at this point. So with that, it's going to wrap up this edition of Play It Through. I'd like to thank you for watching, and of course, I hope you enjoyed. <laughs>